good. Hello there. Today I'm with my friend Dom. So we are headed to Epcot because it is the Festival of the Arts and it's very exciting because they have a bunch of Disney artists there and a bunch of Disney art related food and it's just very exciting. So we're going to take an art class from a Disney artist. We're going to be drawing a Disney character. We don't know which one yet. Dom is going to join me because he is also an artist. He makes incredible art so make sure you follow him on Instagram. That's about it. So let's get started. So what's cool about the festival festival of the arts is that I feel really freaking awkward right now. I'm gonna put this down. <laughs> so the festival of the arts is really cool because it basically has a bunch of Disney artists all the way around the world showcase. So you can buy different Disney pieces, you can buy originals, you can also buy prints. They have so many different pieces of artwork, which is really cool. They also have a bunch of different food. They have experiences like the Animation Academy. There's Dom, sorry. It's just really cool. There's a bunch of different things that you can do. They also have a wall here somewhere that you can paint on, but I haven't seen it yet. So I'll keep my eyes out. I think it's in the front, but there's so much like construction here. Uh, Everything's under construction. But it's really fun. I do recommend coming if you're able to, but it's just a really fun experience. And especially when you come with friends. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. We're about to learn how to draw a character. I don't know which one. But yeah, we're trying to figure out how we're supposed to do it because it is raining, hence umbrella. There is like a covered part of the theater. So we're hoping that's where we're going to be sat because our paper is going to get wet and soggy and not turn out very well. Water color. Water color. <laughs> I can't zoom in, what the hell? I can't, oh, oh wait, there we go. It's zooming in. It's so foggy. It is, it's so, it's a really bad day. Hello Epcot, ball, spaceship Earth. That's the one. <laughs> Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. This is so cool. I've actually never had an art class before. Have you? Um, no, but actually, yes, in Hollywood Studios. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I've never had one Disney or otherwise, so this is my first experience actually doing anything drawing related. And it looks like we're getting covered seats. Thank goodness. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello. 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 Thank Hello. you. Hello. No, no problem. Thank you. <gasps> awesome. I'm so excited. I'm not sure how I'm going to film any of this, but I'm going to attempt to. Here's the stage. Here's my umbrella for the five millionth time. <laughs> um, left. Left people. I like a proper animator's desk. How cool is that? Cool. This is cool. Because we're beginners, we have my first pencil. Class starts in 12 minutes. It starts at 1.30, so. I'm impatient. Do you think if I jumped on stage and stole the desk, anyone would notice? No. No, okay. I have a Disney bag, you can put it in. A Disney bag, perfect, yeah. thank you. <laughs> you haven't got an eraser. I've just realized. <laughs> Stitch. <laughs> By drawing all of our stuff really, really lightly, I'll show you different guidelines. I'm gonna have these two little corners. I'm gonna draw a curved line. Flat edges we have on his nose. If you kind of go in here and make sort of like a, a teardrop shape on the sides, we're gonna throw in his nostrils there. And you can draw these in dark. You don't need to sketch these in if you don't want to. So I was filming with my right hand, camera in my right hand, drawing with my left, I had no eraser and the rain was somehow spitting in my face the entire time, but you know what? I had so much fun! It was really cool because the characters change every day, so the fact we got Stitch made me very, very happy. You made me join Stitch! The thing that was so great about this class is that he's teaching you the fundamentals, the shapes, the guidelines, everything you should be using to draw Stitch the correct way, which you could only really learn from a Disney artist. Like normally, I would draw from a reference and sketch it out in my own way, but he was really teaching you the building blocks and how to really set it up the correct way. And I had a lot of fun. Dom was as well until his pencil broke. Go all the way to the edge there. <laughs> they go kind of right past his nose there and around the other side, right up against the side of his head. 
The Disney artist was so good. He was very descriptive, made it very easy for even the non-artists to draw decently, and he was doing it digitally, so basically it was then portrayed on a big screen behind him. It was really easy to follow along, and despite making a few mistakes due to the lack of a razor on the pencil, uh, it turned out Stitch-like at least. I felt so bad for Dom though. <laughs> <laughs> Pencil tip. I did get ahead of myself though and start colouring things in because I do know what Stitch looks like in great detail um, and I didn't want to wait to find out where the details had to go because I already knew where they went so I kind of cheated but Dom drew this amazingly amazing Mickey from his head with a tiny pencil tip though which was incredible. A little bit of a semblance of a point but as it comes right back into this shape it's going to get really nice. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this experience. Disney do do stuff like this a lot as well, year round usually. They currently have one at Animal Kingdom, so if you can't make it for the festival, go to Animal Kingdom because they have some classes there as well. You can fill in his eyes here, except for that little white oval we threw in there for that little shine. On the outside, I have a commemorative pencil tip <laughs> to take off. <laughs> My frame it. Frame it. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, here's my Stitch. He's a bit wobbly and he's a bit off, but he's cute. I like him. Also, the class was free, included with a park ticket, just so you know if you're wondering. I will be back again so tomorrow good. at the same time with two completely different characters. If you wanna, if you're going to be in the park and you want to challenge yourself yet again. But if this is it for you, I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Hope you enjoy the rest of the so what were your thoughts on that? Well, 10 out of 10 for the artist, <laughs> 2 out of 10 for the pencil. The pencil broke, I'm sorry. But he made the amazing Mickey Mouse all by himself within like 10 seconds, so impressive. A sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> I call this one paper potato. Paper potato! <laughs> <laughs> so we got a Pop Tart. Is that what it's called? Yeah, pop, uh, strawberry Pop Tart or something? Cool. Okay, I shall report back if I like it. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's more like a cake. Yeah, right. Than a pop tart. Yeah. This was like four dollars, by the way. There's no filling on the side. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like. Mine's okay. It's like this whole side has no filling. He's got an empty side. Mm. Oh, a mouthful of hair. I found it. I found it. Really windy. The ink and paint collection. So here's bugger off. He is brand new, and basically he comes with a bunch of pens, which allows you to actually draw on him. I think I might get him so I can maybe acrylic paint on him. He is forty dollars, and he comes with a little bag as well. So you can take him out the bag, and you can draw on him all you want. Uh, I'm not sure how good these pens would be, but you can pretty much just use anything on him at this point. So these little paint things have little characters, plushes in them and you don't know what's inside. He's cute. This app, okay, so this has been signed. This was taken around the World Showcase and signed by a lot of the artists here. I'm gonna buy him. This is Rob Kaz's work and he is my favorite Disney artist after Dom. <laughs> Dom will be here one day, mark my words. But uh, his work is stunning and he's over there. I'm too shy to say it. I haven't seen filming him. <laughs> I'm too shy to say hello, but his work is beautiful. This artist is amazing because he puts a lot of hidden Mickeys and hidden characters inside his paintings. Like this one, I think has like over 50 or something like that. There's a Mickey. Um, there's a Mickey. There's Alice from Alice in Wonderland. $28,000, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, he's over there. I have screen printing here, which is really neat. So I just got the pallet cookie, which is delicious. I had this last year, but it was bigger this year. What did you get? Some chocolate peanut butter pretzel crunch thing. Oh, the pretzel's gone off. <gasps> Don't lose the pretzel! No. Okay. The pretzel was saved. And this thing is one of those obnoxious paintbrushes that we all know and love.
Oh, he's working on that one right now. That's cool. These are brand new ears that they've just brought out. And they have two paintbrushes and then like artistic Mickey and Pinocchio and stuff. For you artists out there, they've finally got artist ears. And I have found the paint wall. So I'm gonna go and paint on it. Okay, this wall has a bunch of little squares on it with numbers. They give you a colour that corresponds to a certain number, and then you fill in every number with that colour that you want. Thank you. So we've got a sponge brush. Thank you. So I can fill in six squares with the number four on this mural, so I need to find four. Wow, look at them colouring in skills. There's a 13 over there as well. Okay, and that one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, brush and this is cool. So when you finish painting on it, they give you one of these little postcards and I think this is what that's supposed to be. Um, like pixel art kind of thing, which is really cool. And I know when they fill up, they actually replace the whole thing and let people start again. Oh, that's me thinking they're all gonna be different and they're all the same. Maybe if I hold it down here and talk, I might feel it's awkward because it looks like I'm just accidentally holding it funny. No, I love her work. The signature of her work is always one eye is slightly smaller than the other and it's so distinctive. She was actually lovely. She was the one that told me about the Liquitex heavy body acrylic paint that I love now. She's a really nice lady. Oh, that one is so cute. I've actually met Ashley Taylor. She is very distinctive. I think she does a lot of work for the Disney Park vlogs, but her work is always really, really unique. The thing that's cool about the Festival of the Arts is that they have a bunch of art-related food and different foods because every time they have a festival in Epcot, they always change the foods around. It's really cool. So every time John walks past somewhere that sells food, he's like, what's the food here? I need it. I just want to eat everything. Everything all the time. <laughs> look like I've been run over no by a train. Oh I God. do. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's a bit different. Thank you so much to Dom. Oh, thanks for having he's me. He's awesome. Best. Make sure you go and follow him because he's such a talented artist and you'll see him in there one day. Oh, hopefully, both yeah. of us. Together, Fingers we'll have crossed. a booth together, a joint that booth. That would be awesome. A booth for two. <laughs> that would be so fun. Um, but yes, thank you for watching this video. really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.